Okay guys, what you are seeing here is a 100 watt solar panel. So this I got from a company called Innovative Solar Solutions and this is a Bangalore based company and I got this for 2800 rupees. So this is a polycrystalline panel and uh, the plan of uh, getting this solar panel is I want a power backup for my laptop and as well as for my Wi-Fi router. We can have two choices. One is going for a UPS and the other is for a solar panel. So what I thought is I can go for a solar panel and I found this one cheaper as well as I felt that I can able to get some energy from the renewable energy sources. Let's unpack this and uh, test this performance as well. Yeah, let's get into this. So this is our solar panel, it has 36 cells, so this is 36 cells and it is a 100 watts uh, solar panel and it's a 12 volt. And on the back side, uh, if you can see that, I'll just see whether I can able to show you this one. So you can see that uh, the rated maximum power is 100 watts. Open circuit current is around 21.2 volt, short circuit is 6.28 amps, rated voltage is 17.4 and rated current is 5.76. So that I am using a old car battery to charge this. It gives a average of around 5 ampere. So I am using the car battery of 45H so that I feel that in a single day I can able to charge my battery and I can use it as a backup for my uh, other purposes. So it's a quite bigger panel I can say so you can see this it's a bigger panel and it gives a very good uh, output as well so I just want to show you the back side of this panel where uh, we have the uh, connecting uh, points so this is the junction box where we connect our wire so uh, for solar panels, it is, it is recommended for uh, 4 square mm. We will connect 4 square mm in these two points that is plus and minus. And uh, here we can get the voltage and uh, we will measure the current as well. And for the testing purpose, I am just making some temporary connection. We can test this and after that, uh, we want to put it permanently. And I think I can able to go for the solution. So here you can see that minus and plus is given. I'm going to connect uh, red wire to the plus and green to the negative. A proper crimping is required so as I am going to test this one so I am just connecting it to the screws so while choosing a solar panel also look for this diode so this is our uh, the reverse bias diode so what it helps so even when uh, uh, we saw that 36 panels uh, sorry 36 cells in the solar panel so if you have a shaded area of some of the panel so the other panels whatever the voltage and the current which is produces may get uh, disturbed from this diodes what it does is it uh, protects the reverse current so that uh, whatever the current produces by the other cells also you can able to get that you see that whether you get this diode with your panel as well otherwise it is just simple to add two diodes in the reverse position there are many videos in youtube uh, how to do this uh, you can able to do so now i did the connect so this is a temporary connection again i am going to tell so i am going to measure the uh, voltage and the current uh, which produces from this panel yeah let's see this panel I'm just setting a degree of uh, 45 35 to 45 degrees I'm not measuring exactly now so just I'm placing it uh, with the appropriate yeah, I think this is okay for me I'm using a multimeter so this is a multimeter what I'm going to use uh, to measure the uh, voltage and the current of this solar panel time is around uh, one o'clock the sun is uh, straight above my head I think uh, this is a good time and still I see some clouds I probably feel it will not affect uh, much on this panel I'm going to measure the voltage I'll be closer to you guys hope you can see this one my multimeter is at uh, DC 200 I am just measuring it yeah 
you can see that the voltage is around 21.4 i think which is pretty good what we saw is 22 uh, volt that is the current output so we get uh, what they uh, given in the box okay super so i'm going to measure the current so the for current time i want to place it to the 10 amp dc my multimeter will support only 10 amp i'm changing it to 10 amps here again the same i am connecting the plus and minus uh, yeah guys you can see that it is around oh, 20 4 4.4 amps yeah it's keep on increasing the sunlight i see this the sun is getting rise i think it will end up somewhere around 5 so i felt uh, this is okay 5 amperes which they have given so 5 amperes when i get and uh, with the solar charge controller i can able to make it to 13 volt to charge my battery and with this panel i think i can able to charge my battery in 6 hours from 9 o'clock when the when i get a good sun so 9 to when around 3 o'clock i can able to charge my battery full so that for the rest of the day if i have a power cut i can use the charge from the battery to my inverters or the lights whatever i use hope this video is useful i'll leave a link for the contact of this seller as well as I will give this uh, card probably if I get that and uh, this comes with a test certificate so if you see there in the box so it has a test certificate as well that will be a good kindly share this uh, with your friends and family who is looking for an uh, alternative uh, for this electricity and this can also be used for the people who are uh, uh, residing in a place where uh, they have uh, frequent power cuts or uh, they don't have uh, power supply as well so this is the best solution and if you see the uh, panel uh, quality it is very good and uh, the edges are with aluminium so that you don't have the problem of getting rusted and uh, this is uh, this is not a uh, glass panel so that it will not break it is a laminated panel hard laminated panel no worries so you can able to put it if you have a single panel don't worry that you want a stand or something play some hollow block uh, bricks and you can place it to that angle or uh, place it as what I do and the position where you have to place is you should place the panel towards south direction so that wherever you are place it to the south direction north south direction and south should be facing so I have faced it on the south direction you can see that the sun is exactly on the center now next video will be I am going to post uh, how I am going to connect this to the battery and I am going to uh, use it for my backup hope this video was helpful guys and uh, Subscribe to my channel DIY community and I am your friend Rajesh. We will meet in next video. Until then, bye bye. Take care.